Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, a few videos ago we created this secondary sticky menu up here using the theme builder, the fantastic theme builder. Let's get this so you can see it. And somebody said they got a bit of a problem with it. I, I didn't have it, but I've managed to recreate this problem. And that is if we look on tablet and mobile, go to tablet mode, our secondary menu here, you can't see it because it's stuck behind the primary menu here. Now there's a couple of ways we can get around this. And I did find a slight issue with the Z index on the main menu here. Sometimes it's hard to pull back, but I'll give you a couple of options. So let's go in. I'm going to go back to the theme builder. To get to the theme builder, just go to your dashboard, down to Divi, and then to theme builder. And we're working on our custom global header here. Okay. So let's go into it and see what we've got. Here's our top bar, and here's our secondary bar kind of close together so I'm going to work in wireframe mode which is this little icon down here to the left so here's the top bar here's the secondary bar now what we can do we can go into our top one that, that's going behind the secondary one go over to advanced we'll go down to position and you'll find Z index here now Z index the higher the number, the more forward the element is. So if you've got one element with a Z index of zero and one with a Z index of one or higher, then the one that has the index of one will overlap or be on top of the one with zero. Now this works for most things. Occasionally with a menu though, it's gonna force it on top. So let's try pulling this up and see what happens. You can slide it all, all the way up to the right there, or you can give it a huge number. Just type something in there like that. We'll save our changes. Save our changes here. Now let's go back. Make sure we save this draft. And refresh the page. Okay, now let's put it back in tablet or mobile view. Both will work. Let's see. Now, now this has actually worked. The Z index has worked. But like I say, sometimes you're going to have a problem with a main menu. It'll force it over the top. So these are now working nicely. Now, if you have the problem where it's still not working that way around, I've got another little workaround for you. So we'll presume this is not working still. And what I'll do is I'll go back in, I'll take that Z index down, back down to where it was. And if you play with these settings and things don't work out, simply select the setting and delete it. It'll go back to the default of how it was. So we'll save that back to the default state. Now the other option, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this secondary menu up here by hitting the little duplicate, two little squares right there. There we've got two of them. I'm going to drag one of them down below the main menu right there. Now I'm going to go into the top one. And I'll go to advanced and visibility this time. And I'm going to disable this one on phone and tablet. I'm going to go down to the bottom one, our clone. I'm going to go to the same place, advanced, visibility. And now I'm going to disable, disable this one on desktop. Save my changes. And you only want to use this option if your Z index doesn't work for you. Like I say, it usually does, but sometimes with a menu, it can force it to be on top. OK, well, let's refresh. So on desktop mode, it looks exactly the same. Now if we flip it to tablet or mobile mode, tablet mode, now our secondary menu is down underneath here. So that's going to be visible when you click on it. And the main menu is visible. And of course if we switch to mobile also, should work the same way. So there you go, there's a couple of little workarounds if you have issues 
with the positioning of your menus when you've made a global sticky menu. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please like, ring the bell, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.